There's a new place in Northwest Bend where you can fuel your mind, body, and soul. Our Mackenzie Wilson takes us to Sunny Yoga Kitchen to meet the power couple behind this dual-purpose yoga cafe. Things that go well together. PB&J. Step four. Put the two pieces of bread together with the peanut butter and jelly sides facing one another. Cut the sandwich in half for easier eating. A breakup and ice cream. <laughs> Yoga. Victorious breath. And food? You might not be sold on that last one, but the owners here at Sunny Yoga Kitchen hope you'll at least give it a try. We think that the nourishing your entire being has to do with what you put in your body and how you connect with your body. And um, when we were deciding to write our business plan, we just thought, gosh, we don't want to just be a yoga studio. And we, because there's lots of those and they're wonderful. And we don't want to just be a cafe because we've been working in restaurants so long. We don't want to just keep doing that. So bringing it together just seemed totally natural. Let me clear something up. The cafe is only open before and after classes, so you won't be chowing down during Downward Dog. What's your favorite thing on the menu that you make? My favorite thing is the rice bowls. Um, I make them a little different, so I keep the veggies really fresh, just kind of heat them through and add a little spice to them, lots of seasoning, so you get all the good benefits from the health aspect of it, but you also get to taste the vegetable and all the good spices that go together. They've only been open since Valentine's Day, but regulars, they already have their favorites. I really like, oh gosh, that's hard. That's a toss up between the, just the green juice. That's um, like just a little bit of sweet, really, really um, just tastes like life. Um, and the pineapple avocado smoothie that they make that, um, that's hard to describe. It's almost like a, a healthy mojito. <laughs> Courtney and Amy were tired of working for other people, but they've realized they couldn't do this business without working for each other. Can Courtney cook and can you teach yoga? <laughs> No. Before this, Amy was about to lose her mind because she was working in a Portland restaurant 70 plus hours a week. Right now it doesn't feel like work. It feels like something I love to do and something that I love to do with the people that I love doing it with. 